This is the Horse Radio Network. This is episode 383 of the Stable Scoop Radio Show on the Horse Radio Network. This special All Hosts episode is brought to you by Horselovers.com and Dr. Rose's Remedies. Enjoy. Can't you hear those bells ringing, ringing, joy, joy, hear them singing when it's snowing, I'll be going back to my country home. Cause Christmas time's coming, Christmas time's coming, Christmas time's coming, and I know I'm going home, yeah. Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Glenn the Geek, founder of the Horse Radio Network, and welcome to the seventh annual All Hosts Holiday Roundup. It's become a thing now. We, we get all the hosts together from all the HRN-owned shows, and we get together and have our version of a Christmas party every year. The only difference is we share it with you guys. This year, we asked our auditors to submit some Would You Rather questions, and they came through with a bunch of good ones. We're going to get to those later in the show. But first, let's introduce everyone in the order they came to the network. That means first up is the co-host of uh, the flagship show here on the Horse Radio Network, the Stable Scoop Radio Show. Been here more than eight years. Helena B. of Rhode Island. Hi, Helena. Hi. Happy holidays, everyone. And Helena developed a spy name this year through the shows, and she is now <laughs> Honeybee is her spy name. I like my spy name. <laughs> we just watched the James Bond about? movie last night. Too. How did that come about, Helena? Yeah. I, saw that and I was like, what is the going on? The auditors on voted. Oh, that's the right. Editors. It came up on a show because we got talking about uh, we got talking about James Bond, and we the, Helena decided she needed a cool spy name. So now she really has a James Bond one of the girls' names from James Bond. Awesome. I think Honey Bee, yeah. the Bond girl, the so Bond girl, a Bond, Bond girl. girl. Can can we can we all have spy names? Because I would love one. <laughs> that sounds awesome. <laughs> you have to do some shady stuff though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you really? Mm-hmm. I can, I have I have show. I've got a stockpile. I could lend you some. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Christmas party so, until it gets a little wild. I think Reese has some to spare. For, you know, she was in college for a long time. It was. It's true. <laughs> Next up, coming into Horse Radio Network, kicking and screaming and dragged her in was my wife, Coach Jen, and the host of the Horse Tip Daily Show. Heidi Hody. Hey, Jen, and thank you for joining us tonight. And I was kicking and screaming. She just didn't want to do this. She wanted to go out and get a real job. And I said, well, if you don't do it, I have to hire somebody. So... She said, I'll do it for two months. And here we are, fi- almost five <laughs> years later. <Yeah. laughs> so much of that plan. The rest is history, yeah. History. Then responding to a Facebook ad post for a little podcasting gig every day for an hour and a half is that girl, host of Horses in the Morning, Jamie Jennings out of Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, Jamie. Hello. Happy holidays, everyone. It's good to be here again. I cannot believe that this is like my fifth all host. That's insane. Yeah, I'm pretty sure when she took this gig, she said, oh, oh, a year. <laughs> Give him a my, year. <laughs> my husband was like, okay, great. You have a daily show talking about horses. What are you going to talk about after the first week? <laughs> Five years later, he can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> And I think she pretty much says that to him every day. Uh, (laughs) Next up is the most educated of all the hosts. She gave HRN some real credibility and ethnic diversity. The famous Dr. Wendy Ying of the Driving Radio Show. Hey, Wendy. Hi, guys. I love being a double minority pick. (laughs) (laughs) And one of only two Asian carriage drivers that we know of in the United States. <laughs> Maybe you carry the banners very well. That's yeah, right. That's a, that's a claim to fame. Yeah, right there. <laughs> Make us proud. Girl. And a doctor. Asians don't wear a lot of hats, so they're not drawn to carriage driving like I am. But I'm half Asian. That's true. The other <laughs> half is the half half. Yeah, half hats. The other half, Wendy. Uh, it's a mix of everything Caucasian. <laughs> mutt. I'm a mutt. <laughs> Thank you, Wendy, for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. Wendy, we've been doing that show, driving radio show now, for almost four years. So it's been, uh, it's been, and Wendy lives the closest, so I get to see her the most. 
That's right. Next up in the lineup were two are two Grand Prix riders who even make dressage sound interesting. <laughs> Reese Koffler Stanfield of Georgetown, Kentucky, and Philip Parks from somewhere in the frozen north in Canada. <laughs> we're never quite sure where I'm he is. From America's lives. hat. Yeah, that's right. yeah, from America's hat. <laughs> Is it frozen, or are you guys like having a heat wave like the rest of the country? It's a heat wave, so it's yeah. like 10 degrees today, or Celsius, so yeah. it's yeah. pretty warm. It's pretty warm. And last but not least, <laughs> the most sophisticated and eloquent of all the hosts, she makes us all look pretty sad, host of the Horsemanship Radio Show, Debbie Laux from California. What? Oh, my gosh. What an entry that is. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. Welcome. <laughs> no pressure tonight, but we're counting on wow. you to bring the class yeah. up a bit. <laughs> yeah. so. That's because I'm the earliest. I mean, yes. It's only she here. hasn't started drinking yet. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> we'll have everybody know this is about 7.30 at night when we're recording it. So, yes, it is okay that they have all started drinking. That's right. At this point. I think it's a requirement for Even a Christmas party, right? Even me, yes. <laughs> I just got licensed to do it. Thank you. <laughs> now, guys, we're going to do uh, – we're going to ask a bunch of questions, have some fun tonight. Uh, the listeners came up with some. I know you have some would-you-rather questions, but we always start these shows – with two questions, and that, and we'll go around at Robin here, uh, and we always start with the highlight of your 2015 that's not show related, and then the highlight of your 2015 that is show related. And I'll get us started so you can think about that a little bit. I, I, I this was hands down the easiest year I've had for these. Uh, the highlight of my 2015 is that I got to see all of you, everyone on this call, in person this year. Aww. Every, so sweet. Nice. every single one of you, I got to see Reese and Philip down in Wellington to start the year, headed up to Helena's house, got to see Wendy a hundred times, uh, got to see Jamie and got to see Debbie on this last trip. This is yeah. the first time I've ever That's met cool. all the hosts in a year, <laughs> let alone met all the hosts. So <laughs> this is, uh, that, was awesome. that was so much fun for us to be able to do that in one year. So Very thank cool. you for that. Appreciate that. My highlight. Now, now of- you have to visit all the hosts in one yeah. in one year, <laughs> or they have to come visit us. One or the other. Yeah. We're gonna get yeah. that host get together done one of these days where we all get together in the same place. That that, ah, that one of these yeah. days cool. we need yeah. to get that done. Disneyland. There you go. I like it. <laughs> Debbie's for that. She's right down I the road. <laughs> yeah, I li- I can throw a rock at Anaheim, so I'm close. Yeah. <laughs> And then my highlight for 2015 show related is de- was definitely the radiothon. Uh, partly because it was we took a lot of work to put that together, but then it really came off. And thanks to all of you for really making that work. Uh, it was a lot of fun and definitely going to become an annual event because it was received so well. We've had almost 40,000 downloads to that now. Um, so we're really thrilled with how that came out, and the sponsors are thrilled. So. Uh, thank you guys for for making twelve hours live on the air work, and thank you, Wendy. Good job, boss. Good well, job. <laughs> you all thought I was nuts, except for Wendy, who was like, "Yeah, I'll come up, no problem. We'll spend the whole day doing this." <laughs> I thought you were. Nuts. I knew we could talk for that long. <laughs> <laughs> Would people listen for that long? Yeah, exactly. The they did. That's... Yeah, but see, Glenn and I don't care. Nobody listens. We don't mind <laughs> <laughs> talking. <laughs> so, uh, Helena, let's start with you. What 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 do you want to say? Uh, highlight of your year, not show related, and then show related. Okay, so my highlight of the year, show related, would be um, introducing the fox hunting segment to Stable Scoop, which we do every other month or so. So giving some fox hunting groups the opportunity to um, to get excited about talking about their sport to people who will actually listen and to recruit new fox hunters which we've actually done so i'm really proud of the fact that we got well, our enthusiasm made it across the airwaves and actually got people in the saddle and out in the hunt field so we did i think three um fox hunting segments on scoop this year and those combined would be the highlight my show highlight of the year and your non-show um i'll tell you I'll tell you, my highlight, my non-show highlight was when I got my horse Brody to join up. Oh, oh fantastic. Cool. 
when I when it it, it happened and I was like, was that luck? <laughs> was that coincidence? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> Let me give it three days and come back and try it one more time. <laughs> so I'm cool. still not convinced. It's yeah, yeah. All right, it's Aww. it's for real. Yeah, I was really um, I was really impressed. I was proud. I was humbled, and and thoroughly inspired. So um. That was. Do you want me to cut that out for you, Debbie? Yeah. So you can. Yes, play. could you, could you <laughs> endorsement, <laughs> Helena? Thank you. I'm so glad you tried it, Helena. I'm so glad. Yeah, me too. It was unexpected, and I'm such a cynic, you know. I really am, and um, it was so simple and so clear. It was so concise. There was just, I, I was just amazed at how much control I had. Not any control, but how much communication I could do with just my eyeballs. That's it. Yeah. It was really yeah. neat. Yeah. Communication. That's the word. Good job. Thanks. And Buck said that you've done very well at communicating the same way with him. So <laughs> apparently that also crosses over into your Join personal that works life. with uh, significant others. Yeah, sure does. apparently it does. Because yeah. <laughs> you know what? I've seen all versions of <laughs> Helena's eyeballs, and there are some that you just don't want to see. So... <laughs> <laughs> so guys, I have to ask a question because what does join up mean? Oh, good. I, and I, I'm I'm sorry I had to, I, but Debbie, I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna I'm gonna ask it because I'm sure other people are like, what are they talking about? God, so, dressage queens! I swear to God. <laughs> I was like, what are, what are they talking about? I was like, I don't think I've been drinking that much. So what are you guys talking about? I don't get it. Okay, so join up is that moment when a horse chooses to trust and be with you rather than away from you. You want more? No, I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can elaborate a little bit more. I think that's good for yeah. everybody who so knows what we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could do it in a pasture, you could do it in 25 acres, and you could do it in a round pen. But it's that moment when a horse does his flight and then starts to renegotiate the deal, looks to you for a leader, decides whether or not he's going to trust you. When that ear locks on, that adrenaline drops, he starts getting some licking and chewing, and then that circle gets a little bit smaller, and then you give him the invitation to come in you turn on a 45 avert your eyes hold your hands really still and wait for him to come and breathe on the back of your neck oh, oh it's well, such a rewarding go. feeling it's that's so cool. cool i i would just i would just call that hey you want to play and now you want to play with us that's that's good but i like it that's very it's not cool. play there's a different level of respect it's yep. it's well, definitely a yeah, choice you know like, what i mean yeah i do want to they join that they want to join the team I think that's cool yeah it's when your physiology starts to sync with theirs though too and you bring your adrenaline down they bring their adrenaline down all breath goes out you relax and they go ah you're speaking my language it's really cool Reese, cool. I really uh, suggest you listen into the Horsemanship Radio Show here yes. on the Horse Radio Network. <laughs> Horsemanshipradio.com. <laughs> and join MontyRobertsUniversity.com yes. as well. <laughs> That's how I learned how to they do it. They are getting I, all the plugs in here, Debbie. Thank you. Yeah, yeah they're getting really it in, guys. <laughs> That's how I learned Wait how to do you it. Get to Oh, it's my turn. So you can ask me these questions. We'll just keep this Monty train Let's rolling. Go. Let's go. <laughs> Jamie, uh, you're up. Um, gosh, my... My favorite show highlight, I have to say, you know, I had two. Um, one was, you know, when we I was able to broadcast for two weeks from Flag is Up Farm, I got to sit next to Monty Roberts and do a listener question and answer, and that was really, really cool. Uh, and also interviewing George Morris was was really, I was so scared and so nervous, and he was just awesome. And I really uh, it loved that day, and I loved how excited people were about it and how they, I guess everybody thought I did an okay job. So it was good that everybody wasn't <laughs> ripping me about it. So that's positive. <laughs> it was good. The best exercise good. you're going to do for riding and your horse <laughs> is push away from the table. Put down your fork. There you go. Yeah. A little George for you there. <laughs> well done. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I'd say that my, my, non show highlight because this has just changed my entire year it happened last february uh is when i adopted my mustang thor yeah. and just i i it was just such a life changing thing for me and then to be able to take him to flag is up for that two weeks and monty gave me riding lessons every day to, I, I think it, it changed the relationship I have with him as a horse and then all horses I think in the future uh so I really 
I think it, I think I got to say adopting the Mustang and I, I, I think I have to go back and get another one. I can't stand it. I need more. <laughs> <laughs> You're an addict. She is. She's no, addicted right? now. She's... They're just the neatest little horses. I just can't even believe it. So, you know, all these years with warm bloods and thoroughbreds, who knew that, that I would find such a connection with a, with a wild horse. So it's really neat. Mm. Jennifer. Okay, so I have to go third. So somebody's already taken Radiothon. Uh, somebody's already taken I'm George not sure Morris. that was your favorite day. That was a lot of hard work for you. I didn't, I didn't ask for my favorite. You asked for my highlight, okay. and it was a highlight. But actually, one of the big highlights for me this year that was show-related, and it's not so much show-related as it is Horse Radio Network-related, is thanks to Glenn's big trip to Texas to the – uh, podcasting convention, uh, we have ne- we have an editor now, and that's just made my life a different. It's Yay! Just- <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Thanks, Neil. Awesome. Yeah, Neil. Thank-, <laughs> thank you. That that's my uh, show related one, <laughs> and the the not show related one. Glenn's already taken the trip out west to see everybody, and every so that's already been taken. <laughs> so my my uh, other big highlight for the year was. Not just going to my first horse show in Yay. way many years, but mm-hmm. the fact that Glenn came along and had fun, and my friend, thanks to the Horse Radio Network, Denise came along, and we had a great day together. It was pretty cool. Aww. And she did awesome. great. Aww. And I got Who the knew? best ever. Yes. <laughs> Who yes. knew Western dressage could be even interesting? But uh, <laughs> it, I actually kind of enjoyed the day. Well, Whoa. with the tail like beakers, uh. do not watch. <laughs> and he was the only one there with a gorgeous tail that wasn't fake. That's true. That's true. That's true. Points, extra wow. points for Jennifer. Real. Strong words. <laughs> <laughs> no tails here. We won't talk about what other dressage person on this call is is uh, now interested in Western dressage. We're not going to mention. I that. don't know anybody else. I don't know anybody else. else. Doctor <laughs> Wendy. Oh, this is a really hard one because I think the Radiothon was my favorite, too. Well, it's allowed to be. Wow. We can have same favorites. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, the radio show, the Radiothon was really fun. But my other fun thing that we did uh, was covering Live Oak. Hmm. Remember we covered Live Oak together? We commentating to on that for USDF for that. Network. Yeah. That was awesome. You guys did such a great job. Yeah. I've never watched really competitive driving with so much interest. Mm-hmm. Or watched oh, it because I had some gossip on everybody. <laughs> but you know what was the worst part of that? Glenn and I had to do like the beginning video part, and we were so awkward. Yeah, we we're not to, made like, for video. <laughs> 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 we did about twelve takes to get thirty seconds. <laughs> that was painful. Oh. <laughs> they like, kept, what do I do it was, with my hands? <laughs> that was exactly it. <laughs> and then Wendy kept being so stiff. I'm like, Wendy, you're you're the most casual person I've ever met. And and the director kept saying, Wendy, bad. would you relax and just be Wendy? It was like <laughs> I couldn't. I remember I I was like, let's hold hands. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. That was a fun two days. That's when I knew we could do the radiothon. Because we had to just sit there for hours. Yeah, we were there for six hours director. On, do, doing Marathon Day. Uh, <laughs> and, and thank God, just Wendy knew everybody. So that he, she had all the stories and it really worked. How about, I think I know what yours is non-horse related to. What? The farm? <laughs> what? The farm? Is that yours for non-horse related? <laughs> or non-show related? Well, technically related? I moved here last year, but yes, yes, it is definitely. You don't get to take hers, Glenn. I just you figured that's what it was going to be. Uh, I just guessed. No, it is, <laughs> but then I wasn't going to bring it up because it was in 2014, but it's close enough. It was December 2014, so moving out to the farm has been great, and my horses are loving their retirement, and it's been really fun. And her horses chased the alligator away. So really? there's yep. that. <laughs> there's that, yeah. Goodness. Protective horses. Yeah. And it's a petting zoo out here now. I have my goats. I have the chickens. Glenn the duck. That has been a highlight <laughs> of my life. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Glenn's very popular on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. My namesake. Reese, what's yours? Oh, my gosh. So, uh, yeah, it, Glenn has ratted me out about the Western dressage. It's good. We're, we're going to stay tuned on that, everybody. You'll have to listen next year to see how our Western dressage uh, adventure is going to play out. I can't tell you because I just got the books today. 
So cool. we're just starting. So that'll be fun. But um, for that'll be our, our update next year. But um, yeah, so one of the really cool things that we did this year was Philip and I went to Las Vegas to the World Cup for and had you know for the horse radio network and and did a lot of stuff out there and that was awesome to be able to see charlotte dijodin my favorite person on the planet kick some butt it was so fun so I, that was really cool that was that was a that was a highlight slash perk of the job so that was neat um and plus uh philip philip meredith and i and travis all had a big time in vegas i'm not gonna lie that was awesome yeah. that, that was <laughs> That was show related and unshow related. And, yeah, and there you go, both. <laughs> and show related, you could go both ways. Um, I now know who David Guetta is, so I did not know who David Guetta was before we went. So that was fun. <laughs> and, then, um, and then anybody that know, you have to Google him if you don't know who he is. But I didn't know who he was prior to Vegas. So, and then uh, my non highlight. We've had a great year here at the farm. I'm, I'm not going to lie. All my students have done super well, but I've had a very fun year with my horse Elon Court owned by town and country farms. Um, he was great. I haven't been to a national championship in a long time and, and he went to two this year. So that was very, very fun and thankful for, for what he did for, for me and, and my owner as well. So it was a lot of fun. So those were my highlights for the year. That's pretty good. Very good. Philip. Um, actually I was going to say we did, we covered another show. We show, covered the Pan Am games together this year. Yeah, that was fun too. And that was cool too. <laughs> Reese, Reese came up with, uh, with our friend Anna and, we had you know a bit of a long weekend, and uh, we uh, yeah we saw all the horses and the, and the competition going on here you know close to my house here, and uh, that was a really good time. And we got to uh, interview a lot of the riders, uh, you know who are they're a big deal too. So maybe not World Cup big deal, but um, some of the same riders there too. So, anyways, that was awesome. And then I was just thinking, non radio show related. We had a great season. Uh, I got to show uh, a horse I've been working on for a while. He's five years old, and he did his first show this year. Um, he did really well. It was awesome. And then uh, we just took our uh, uh, our trip to Southeast Asia, which was a really awesome trip. We just posted some photos on Facebook about that recently. And uh, I don't know. It just seems like it's flown by 2015. It's going to be 2016 soon. I don't know. Yeah, that is yeah. true. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. yeah, I've just been, it just, it seems like I've been traveling a lot and uh, just having a good time. So, yeah, it's been good. And, Debbie, I don't know how you pick because oh. you guys, <laughs> I mean, you, you guys uh, lead such an interesting life. You, you, you were over at Buckingham Palace, for God's sake. I don't okay, know how that, you're going to pick was this a good year. One. Yeah, that was a good one. But yeah, yeah so I, that was October going to Buckingham Palace and, and having the queen drop in. That was, that was a big surprise. That was fun. Um, but the Duchess of Cornwall, we hadn't met, we hadn't met Cammy yet. So that was fun. And, uh, but you know, really, I, actually, I think one of the most exciting things all year was the triple crown. I hate to say it, but I mean, that just never oh, happens. Yeah. So just sitting, we were in the classroom, everybody was, we had just tons of people stuffed in there. And, um, when that happened, that was just, wow. That was just something, you know, with being around the thoroughbred industry my whole life, that was just really exciting. Yeah. So, um, but the, that, so that's sort of non-show highlights, I guess, sort of horsey, but, uh, but killing the server, um, during the radio thought has got to be my high. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I don't yeah. think Debbie thought it was a highlight at the time, by the way. <laughs> I kept, I had just, I was listening, so I didn't care, but I didn't know actually, but, but um, but yeah, yeah. Glenn told me it's a badge of honor. So it is, and we've never nice. killed a server before. That was Derb Bob Baffert. That had to be a highlight for you getting that interview. That was fun. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This is for you, Debbie. All right. <laughs> <Here> we, <go>. <laughs> <laughs> we had 7,200 listeners when the server went down. So, yeah, that's uh, awesome. yeah. So, congratulations, Debbie. You're the first one to do that. Yay! Yay! Yeah. You and Bob. <laughs> Your turn's next. You get to. Go. You know, I guess when you get the Triple Crown trainer on, you have a chance of that happening. It's just so, a shot. Yeah. Yeah, there was a shot there. Yeah, it was a. Yeah. Wasn't even a long shot. Yeah, it was nice. That was fun. Yep. Well, very good. We're going to take a break for a commercial, and then we're coming back with the first of the Would You Rathers. And let's just say we have a naked question from Linda that we're going to start with. We'll be right back after this. 
Well, you've plain run out of time. That's right. It's almost Christmas. It's time to get over to horselovers.com and buy that gift card. You can do it all the way through Christmas Day. Believe me, I've used that many, many times. You can buy a card for the one you love, have it emailed, and you are done. And they are so happy. Hey, horse husbands, gift cards are approved presents for the horse wives because then they can buy what they want. And they don't have to put up with us picking the wrong thing. So it's the perfect holiday gift. Last chance here, everybody. Head over to horselovers.com and get that gift card today. Okay, guys, let's start the Would You Rathers. This is where the fun begins. (laughs) And Linda Gettig came up with the first question. Helena, what was our most popular episode still uh, that we have done? <laughs> Flexible nuts. Flexible nuts. That's right. That was the name Gross. of the episode, and it was it, it was the naked dining segment that came up as we were doing our recipe of the month with Cat, and she brought up naked dining, and it, I don't know why, but people found out about it, and it went crazy, and it's still our most downloaded episode. Well, Linda Gettick, our auditor, submitted this question because she knows about that and she said merely in keeping with the popularity of the naked dining episode on stable scoop would you rather dine naked or clean your stalls naked oh <laughs> so, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, what? Who's taking that one first? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Would Jamie. you rather dine as in eat? <laughs> yeah, would you rather dine naked, like oh, eat naked, it. like eat dinner naked, or would you rather clean I'll your start. stalls naked? I'll I'll start. Start. You'll start? Who's starting? Uh, it's Reese. Okay. I'll do it. All right. I'll take it. Shockingly. Um, oh, I totally would die naked over stalls because yeah. I'm just like super paranoid of like worms and nasty. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, and you get a napkin. And yes, you need a right. napkin. Like, yeah, you, you get, get a napkin. napkin. You could cover. <laughs> I mean, obviously, neither nobody would want to sit at a table with me naked, but whatever. But for sure, I'm going to go in the barn. Like, I, I you know, I, I live in a barn. Like, my apartment's literally attached to the barn. And I won't even go out. Like, no shoes. It just grosses me out. Like, if anybody walks uh, in the barn, like, ugh. ugh I'll gross. clean stalls naked any day. Let's go. Oh. I'm practically oh. naked in the summer anyway. When I'm ah, me too. Stalls. I agree, like Jamie. Whole, I'm like 115 here, for God's sake. Nobody wears oh. any clothes in the summer. My kid's naked. I'm half naked. It's just, it'd be easy. Just, if I had to pick, I'll just pull that top right on off. I don't it's care. It's easier to shower <laughs> in the wash stall when you're naked to begin <laughs> <Yeah>. with. <laughs> exactly. It's on laundry. Oh, yucky. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie, I haven't heard any comments from the West Coast. I'm laughing. I'm <laughs> she's like, I don't she, clean stalls. Thanks. Yeah. She's trying to class it up, guys. She is trying to class it up. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Either yeah. that or she's done some naked dining and she's keeping really quiet. I actually yeah. did. That's what I was just thinking. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> we were in the British Virgin Islands, my husband and I, and it was a, our our. 30th anniversary and they said for you know married couples there's the little island thing and they they gave us a pot of this orange mud stuff and sent us over in a boat and said okay you guys get to go over there and dine naked and so like we're putting this stuff on and you're supposed to let it dry and then wash off in the ocean but there was like this British couple that had just yachted in there and they anchored on our beach you know and so (laughs) we were saying well uh, what do we wait or whatever and the guy went over and kind of chased him away and said you know this this couple's uh, on their anniversary and they're going to die naked, I guess. So, so uh, they they didn't look too embarrassed or anything, and they took their time. And finally, I'm old enough, so I just said, you know what? <laughs> I'm going to start smearing on my mud here. <laughs> and we did. You and they, go, girl. They, yeah, there they, you girl. Go. Love Where's it. that sound effect, Jennifer? You need it again. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> that's, awesome. that's awesome i hope when we're married for 30 years I'll, we're doing that i just want to say that's fantastic okay there's a goal right there yeah there that go. is a goal <laughs> ding 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 debbie i, I want to know the place so we can that is a goal for yeah, us it's, it's called peter island sorry it's a true story <laughs> <laughs> Love it. you can't make that stuff up i could make that up <laughs> it's more appropriate wendy you said you had some do you have one to ask oh yeah this is for Jennifer. Yeah. Okay. Would you oh, rather wow. scribe for Western dressage or mini driving dressage or the short stirrup ring? <laughs> oh, there's three. It's not a two. Would I it's rather a, scribe? It, it's for... a three. I had to throw the short stirrup ring in there. <laughs> scribe for Western dressage 
What was the other for one? For mini driving dressage, which is in a 40 by 80 arena, and you're driving a 32-inch yeah. mini. <laughs> yeah. And there's wow. a long I've, walk I've... across the diagonal. <laughs> so don't yeah, I've, dr- I've judged for, for one of those classes. Really? Mini <laughs> driving, yeah. And I'm scribing, it huh? forever. I'm for 150 <laughs> short stirrup kids. Oh, uh, the, the short stirrup one. No, no way. In any, no. <laughs> <laughs> I will. T- I will take scribing for the mini dr- mini driving dressage. Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> that's how I participated. So I'm allowed to say this. That's how boring um, oh. Western dressage can be oh, when it's yeah. at the walk trot level. <laughs> oh god! Yes, I thought it was thrilling. I thought it was exciting. <laughs> Nothing at the walk trot level is thrilling. You're right. I'm saying. <laughs> just yeah, no offense. You yeah. You can yeah. get your USEF national championship now at walk trot and Western dressage. I, I, that is my new goal. Yeah. That is literally my new goal. I'm going for that. Thanks, Whitney. I know. Well, that's what I see. I already figured it out because I have this one horse that is like, I can't tell if he's neurologic or crazy or he's half Tennessee Walker, but every time he canters, it's like a nightmare. He doesn't even know what's going on back there. And I was like, oh, good. I can do walk trot. Yeah. Because <laughs> this canter sucks. <laughs> All right. Who has the next question? Who wants to go I next? got one. Okay. Jamie, Jamie. All right. See, I've only ever played this game as a drinking game, the would you rather. And so like it always goes sexual. Right. So I would just start out with like, would you rather George Morris or Calvin Burrell? Go. Discuss. (laughs) (laughs) Just kidding. (laughs) Don't answer that. (laughs) Just get a little cold sweat there. I wouldn't want George Morris to see me naked because he would only have like negative things to say about my chubby eyes. He'd be like, can you push your way, honey? Uh, Quit yeah. eating. <laughs> Who should we eat the fork? <laughs> Don't eat for the next 50 years. We'll be good. Uh, no. uh, okay, the real question. Uh, would you rather ride American Pharaoh, Vallegro, or Snowman? <sighs> There's not even a problem for me. Yeah, yeah. that's not a question to us. <laughs> I mean, that's a question for us. <laughs> Philip and I would be like, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Vallegro. Oh. Snowman. American Pharaoh goes way too fast for Reese. I know. I <laughs> think Snowman too. Still, though, he's Snowman. super chill. Yeah, I saw him. We saw him this summer uh, at, at Churchill, and he's super chill. Like, if there was a racehorse, he's he's a pro. I, I almost would. I wouldn't go fast. I would just walk. But he's cool. He's super chill. Okay, so Reese and Philip both say Vallegro. Helena, you said Snowman. Wendy, you said Snowman. Yeah. Debbie? Pharaoh kid. Oh, no way. I mean, there's no other horse. I would just, he's so sweet. I would definitely ride him. My God, I'd get on that fast. short those stirrups and I'd go about exactly. as fast as that horse. <laughs> <Go. laughs> I'd probably fall around. off the back of him, but my yeah. God, it'd be <laughs> while you're on. <laughs> it'd be fun. Jennifer, you didn't answer. Yeah. Snowman, hands down. Oh, yeah. I, I guess. Would, yeah. I figured that would be the answer. That would be, that's easy. How about you, Glenn? You uh, I, I'm going to pass on all of them. I'm going to stick. <laughs> I am going to stick with the Duke, um, who I wrote at at Jamie's house because uh, he took care of me. So I'll just stick with the Duke. You could give Blueberry a carrot, though. How about that? Okay. All right. I I give American (laughs) Pharaoh a carrot or a beer. Or a blueberry. Yeah, whatever. You know? Yeah. yeah. No problem. Well, uh, let's see here. Let's go back now to, we'll do one more and we'll break for commercial. This is from a listener, and this is a good one. Rhonda asked, our legacy listener, said, would you rather ride a horse that bucks or one that rears? Oh, my God. (laughs) That's a hard one. Oh, no. Hands down bucking. Bucking? Yeah, bucking. Yeah, Uh, bucking. Yeah, Yeah, rearing. Yeah, Yeah. no no, no rearing. Oh, that's pretty unanimous. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'll take a rear any day over a bucker. Really? Really? Sure. Oh, oh, yeah. No. You seem to be the exception. Why, Jamie? Um, Because they can't rear when they're going forward, you know? So, but I've had horses that, well, I had a have a horse named Jet and still in my backyard. I sold him. But when I started training him, it didn't matter. You walk, trot, canter, you're moving forward, you're confident, whatever. He'd throw a buck in. And so you were just never relaxed. Mm. At least if a rearing horse in my world is going forward, I know he's not going to rear. Sorry. There you go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. I think I'm yeah. picking rearing, too, because I hate to get launched. Like, I hate to get bucked yeah. off and uh, launched really far. 
That's the yeah, worst part. I've, I've had I've had several horses <laughs> go over top, and I yeah yeah that. yeah I've that's seen it. Yeah. for them to come back even on going top forward. Of you, so yeah, Mm-mm. I no, prefer to no fall weird. off than to have a horse fall on top of me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Once I'm riding, you guys, so you dressage weak, riders, they can't go over. They can only get up so high. <laughs> and I can make yeah, a rearer you know. worse. Yeah, I, I I can't make a bucker. I can't do much to make a buck worse. But I can it's make a, a horse going there. up go way up. So. Yeah. <laughs> I, so, I Wendy, what would equipment. be the equivalent question for driving? Uh, for driving, Rear or is, do you want a runaway horse or one that backs up? Because if they run away and you can't stop, you're yeah. in big trouble. And if they back up, they'll jackknife your carriage, and then they can fall over back into the carriage with you. Yeah. You can then definitely flip over. Oh, gosh. You know what's funny Ways is I've are... had hackney ponies, and one was a backer-upper, and one was a bolter. So I've had yeah, both, but, actually. Yeah. <laughs> but that's why you're in a two-wheel carriage, because in the two-wheel carriage, if they back up, they can't jackknife you. Right. Yeah. You end up in a ditch just the same, but yeah. the, uh, <laughs> the horse is not <laughs> on top of you. Ditch. <laughs> some point or not we've all been in a ditch so that's a question yeah, yeah. <laughs> have you have have every one of us been in the ditch oh yeah oh, yes yeah. 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 yeah oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, do you remember what you thought when you first <laughs> when you first sort of realized you were in the ditch you can't say that can you yeah, <laughs> yeah sure there'll be There's a lot, lot of people there <laughs> yeah there would be some censoring. <laughs> All right, let's take a break for a commercial. We'll be right back. We have some more Would You Rather questions coming up. We have some from the listeners and some from the hosts. We'll be right back. Dr. Rose's Remedies Skin Treatment Salve and Spray are 100% all-natural products. They are anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. Dr. Rose's are made with all human-grade ingredients and are safe and effective for treatment for all manner of cuts and scrapes on your horse. And Dr. Rose's is the must-have product here at the Horse Radio Network headquarters to keep PT Scooter's delicate white pasterns free from dew poisoning and scratches. Ask for Dr. Rose's at your local tax store or feed supplier or visit them online at drrosesremedies.com. That's DrRosesRemedies.com Well, you're, we're back here on the 7th Annual All Hosts Holiday Roundup. Merry Christmas, everybody. And we're Merry so Christmas. happy that Merry you Christmas. joined us today. Who has, a, who has a would you rather question? Who's next? I have one. Okay. I got one. Okay. This is just a very simple one, but it could be interesting. Would you rather always be hot or always be cold hmm. can hot. i answer i haven't answered yet hot. i'll hot. answer hot, <laughs> hot. <laughs> floridians all say hot yeah well that was easy yeah i picked hot well you know that's what i do i said y'all love for success yeah there you go <laughs> it's true <laughs> thank you helena we appreciate it that's why you're I love just basically nobody wants to live where you live helena yeah, or Philip. <laughs> none of us want to be cold <laughs> yes. oh. well, although it's i have to tell you it's 61 degrees here today yeah Ooh, nice yeah, yeah. yeah. That. next Not week it'll be like minus 20 it's yeah. gonna be like 60 degrees on christmas Oh, wow. Oh, well, that's good. Weird. Yeah, all in the 50s. Well, maybe we'll have less people in Ocala we can actually get in a the restaurant. They won't have to come down. <laughs> <laughs> well, we uh, we have another one here from a listener. If you want it, this is an auditor. <laughs> this is a funny one. Would you rather eat three jars of peanut butter without anything to drink in one day or ride without stirrups for a month? Oh, my God. Oh, that's so easy. <laughs> no, no stirrup November, man. It's yeah. Yep. Here every year. I go I really in like November peanut 1st. butter though. No, I talk about <laughs> stirrups. November first, there's not a stirrup in the barn. They can't find them. Oh, really? Cool. You you yeah. guys do the whole month. That's awesome. Yeah, I just November first, rip them off. You have to have a really good reason to not keep them. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you know their punishment if they decide to uh, yeah. not listen yeah. next year. Anybody yeah. caught so, using stirrups? There's peanut, peanut butter. butter. There Ow, peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter. <Yeah. laughs> I think you would die eating three jars of peanut butter without anything yeah. to drink in one day. I think you would literally die. You'd suffocate. <laughs> <laughs> Clog it. A lot of peanut butter. I guess. Clog. <laughs> Bad things would happen. Yeah. Who else has one? 
Uh, I thought I got one. Okay. Would you rather only be able to see blurry or only be able to see black and white? Ooh. Oh, that's easy. Black and white. Black and white. Yeah. yeah. yeah black really? And white. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No color. Being the guy who has glasses as thick as bottles, yeah, uh, yeah, black and white. You don't wear glasses, do you, Philip? Yeah, no, no. (laughs) See, you don't appreciate what we're saying. Hey, I could throw in, I could throw in a family plug right now. I really could. I could throw it in. (laughs) Philip set me up for a Koffler Vision Group family plug. I'm just saying. Set you up. I think Wendy, by the way, just got her first pair of glasses. So, how would you answer that? I did. I think um, I think I'm okay with blurry because you don't really like know exactly what's going on and you don't care. But okay, but let me tell you a funny <laughs> story. Wendy is here for Radiothon all day, and of course we had to read our our show notes all day, and she kept saying over and over because she had just got her glasses. Wow, this is so clear! I can't believe how clear it is. I can't believe I can read the paper. I must have heard that a hundred times on Radiothon day. I didn't so. even notice that she was seeing blurry. That's the thing. Yeah, I yeah, changed no, I went for like years. Years not knowing I was seeing blurry and I was fine. Aww. I didn't even notice it. And then Wendy, I did the same thing. I was driving with Chad and I said, you know, if only these mountains are literally stupid, okay? If only these mountains were as good as our HD TV. And he's like, <laughs> he goes, put these on. And I was like, oh my God, they're in <laughs> HD. <laughs> I heard I you say that on the show, actually, and I was <laughs> laughing when I heard you say that. Yeah. It was so funny. It's my life. It's true. It's true. Uh, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Would you rather, this is from Sienna, another one of our auditors, Sienna Torsky. Sorry if I mispronounced that. Would you rather have a super nice trailer but a crappy truck pickup, or would you rather have a really nice pickup and a crappy trailer? Hey, she knows us. She does. She knows us. We have the really (laughs) nice truck and the crappy trailer. I'd have a a nice both of them, but that wasn't an option. So, yeah. And we've all been there, haven't we, with this? Yeah. 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 Well, I've had the truck that broke down, and I've had the truck that got me there to and to back there and back so i'll take i'll take the truck i gotta have something reliable i can't fix something on the side of the road it's not gonna happen yeah that's a good point <laughs> i am with you my poor truck it, we called it go go big blue finally stopped going <laughs> go, go. <laughs> go go big blue did not go anymore and i was like and i'm done with that and i have uh, high silver now high silver <laughs> runs like a dream <laughs> it has heated seats too it's pretty awesome Ooh. Yeah. It's good yeah, to have a good truck. Heated seats. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. yeah. I think you got you have to be able to rely on that you're be able, you're gonna be able to get to where you're going and back. Okay, but I will I'll, I'll, I'll take devil's advocate here. We were driving down the road to one day and it was what it was at least what is an eight lane highway in in Harrisburg there, Jennifer? We're all the way over four lanes on our side. We're all the way over in the passing lane, a very left lane. And we look in their rear view, and one of our tires off the trailer is rolling across the road <laughs> in front of traffic. The uh, It had sheared. The axle had sheared. Uh, so I got to tell you, that's not a good feeling either. <laughs> uh, no, that's no that fun. To me this year, too, I had, a, I had a blowout, and it is... Yeah. yeah. I, I will say, get a trailer that can drive on three wheels. Yes, because mine could for yes. sure. That 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 for me, that's like now a safety thing because I couldn't yeah. pull over. I was in a construction zone, and and same thing. Like we sort of inched, and the tractor trailer driver saw it happen, and he was awesome. Like he literally got in the middle of the road and stopped everyone so that I could safely move over. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It was yeah. awesome. We've, awesome. We've all had those experiences too. Yeah, driving. It's, it's hard. Mm-hmm. It's hard. Who give has me, one? Give me the ugly trailer any day. Who has another one? <laughs> I've got one. Parts there. Okay, Reese. Okay, so mine is, would you rather vacation on a beach with beverages and, you know, umbrella <laughs> drinks and cute cabana boys, or go on a hike like in Colorado or in the mountains? <gasps> oh, I know. What do you, what's Debbie? Oh, mountains. Give me the mountains. I mean, you know, you can always go to the beach. No, mountains are just... Says says a girl who lives by the beach. Yeah, (laughs) that's true. Good point. (laughs) Says a woman who lives eight miles from the beach in Southern California. Yeah. Yeah. But maybe we don't go there that much. I mean, going up in the mountains with your horses is, and it doesn't even have to do with horses, but I, you know, that's what we do every summer. And I just, you look forward to that. It's really cool. Let's not forget that she's done the whole beach thing nude and the cabana boys. She's yeah. been all there already. So yeah, it's just boring now. Yeah. Okay. What about you guys? 
I'll take the beach. I, beach. I love sitting. I, I don't even like going in the ocean. I just like being on the beach. And I swear, one of these days when I come to Flag is Up, I'm going to okay. take my horse to the ocean because there's apparently a place you can do that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. We'll do that. That's a promise. Okay. So- yay. I'd, I'd much rather go for, go, for the, go for the hike. No, it's a yes. way better experience. I'm, I'm a cabana boy with the drink. <laughs> beach or mountains? Beach. Beach, beach yeah. Beach. Wendy. Glenn? Beach. Yeah. You beach. know what? I would have said beach until we went to Sedona. Oh. That was pretty cool. That yes. was pretty cool. Hiking in Sedona was pretty cool. So I almost changed my mind. I don't know if Jamie would agree with that, but I almost changed my mind. Mm-hmm. I really, really like Sedona. <laughs> Did you just call riding a Segway hiking? <laughs> <laughs> That's very American. Burn. Burn. <laughs> that was fun. Take it back. Says from America's Hat, our international co-host. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have, you know what? I've ridden on the beach with horses um, and different kinds of beaches too. And it never gets old. It's so much fun. And the footing is awesome and they love yeah. it. And if you fall off, you don't get hurt. <laughs> That's right. Very badly. Very badly. <laughs> and then <laughs> when you are all done, then there's a cabana boy and a little drink with an umbrella in it. <laughs> I like it. The smells are nice and everything, but no, really, it's just it it just never seems to get old. But but truly, 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 I think the horses really like it. I think the, any horse that I've ever been on in, in salt water has just been like, woohoo. I think Helena wins the sales job of the day on that one. You did yes, a good job. I'm with you, Helena. <laughs> yeah. It's true. Helena, there was this, when, when we were in the Bahamas this past year, there was, we went to this tiny little island called Governor's Island and, or no, Harbor Island. And um, this guy, we're just sitting around on the beach drinking our drinks, and this guy comes along. And of course, I hear, hoof beats and i'm like oh you know they're, they're probably like miles away and i'm like there's a horse coming and buck's like no there isn't i'm like yeah there is there's a horse coming so like 10 minutes later a horse comes around the corner and this guy's on it looked like maybe a retired polo pony or something and he is screaming down the beach and i swear to god and he's bareback he's he's just bareback the horse has a rope halter on and they're having the best time. I could, I swear to you, this horse was smiling. They were having the best time. I'm like, that's, I don't know what this horse's job was before he was a galloping beach horse, but <laughs> he's really enjoying his retirement. So I think mountains are nice, but if anybody ever gets a chance to ride on the beach in the Caribbean, do it. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love it. Yeah. You sold that one, Helena. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, do it. If you the have Caribbean a tur- Tourist Bureau needs you for their commercials. Uh, they do. <laughs> so I now know. does it, we have time for one more. Who, who has one? They I have one. Do? Okay. I have one. Um, would you rather live without hot water for a month or have no internet or cable? For a month. Oh. That's, oh, that's easy for me. I, I'm not showering without hot water. Oh, no. No, so I, I don't, I, I can read a book or something. Can, can we cook the hot water over the stove? And make it <laughs> no hot water. No hot water. <laughs> no hot water. <laughs> Glenn, you, you would have to not shower for a month because you couldn't stand to live without yeah. the internet. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm yeah. going. I'm taking cold yeah, showers. Use the internet to live. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking cold showers for a month. That's easy for me. Yeah, it depends where you live, too, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy in a, in Canada. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's the same for the naked question. You don't want to muck stalls outside naked when it's minus 30 degrees celsius though do you yeah you can eat dinner inside you're right yeah yeah you're right ouch yeah that's a whole new world of pain right there. yeah who cares about the germs yeah so good point philip well taken so does anybody else have an answer to that one Nope. Okay. Um, I guess if it's the middle of the summer, I'll take no shower. I got a pool. Yeah. I'll just jump in naked because I just clean stalls. <laughs> naked. <laughs> naked. <laughs> All right. Anybody have any final words they want to say to their listeners before we wrap up the year here at uh, Horse Radio Network? Just thanks for another great year. I was kind of yeah. like Jen. I mean, I was. I said three months, and 
I think our show's going on three and a half years and, you know, we couldn't do it without our listeners. And it really, it's such a fun time to be able to work with everybody who's here. I mean, this is so cool to, to join up again. And, and really, truly, this is it's such a fun thing we do every week and, and glad that, that I'm a part of it and that Phillip's, that I get to hang out with him and, and yeah, we're going to hang out every week. week. We have a good time. Pretty it's, awesome. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, me too. Oh. I, this Debbie, I just, uh, I've just had so much fun this year. And the first year, you know, you're getting your feet wet and everything, but it's the listeners really that, um, you know, they, they pop out of the blue and say, you're doing a good job and everything. And not that Glenn and Jen don't, they, they're very encouraging too, but, but it's really fun to hear somebody from Sweden all of a sudden, or, you know, that there's these people out there listening and they're, and they're so kind and interested and uh, they, they love what we do too, which is really, really fun. So I wish them all Merry Christmases and happy holidays and happy Happy New Year's. It was it was really getting fun to get to know you this last two, 2015 and looking forward now to 2016. I I second that. I, I think, um, you know, I've had uh, some issues with some horses and, and some stuff and some not so good news with certain things. And, you know, I think the listeners are so quick to come and say, you're doing fine. You're doing a good thing. You, mm-hmm. you know, with this last frustration with my horse, Norman, to mm-hmm. have so many people that I don't even know, and they have nothing invested in me at all to come in and say, you know, g- give me encouraging words. And then to adopt this dog that was like yeah. next to mm-hmm. death and to have all, I, I did a GoFundMe account and 99% of the people that donated money to save a dog, they didn't even know we're our mm. listeners. Yeah. So the generosity and the heart and the the love of animals and the love of people that we have listening to us is just so incredible and so amazing. And I can't thank all of them enough for the kind words and the kind actions. And that that's the thing is they have words and they have the actions to back mm-hmm. it up. And, mm-hmm. you know, I, I hope I'm one tenth uh, as good to them as they are to me. So uh, I, I love you guys all. Thank you so much for listening. And thanks to Glenn and Jen for keeping us all together and running this giant ship of craziness and we love you guys and and Merry Christmas to everybody. Mm-hmm. And thank you guys. I, you know, obviously we wouldn't be here for the eight years that we've been here and you know, the horse radio network this year really took a turn. We're one of the top radio horse or online podcasting networks, forget horse, uh, one mm-hmm. of the top online podcasting networks and that's being recognized around the podcasting world for the first time. So we're, you know, that, that is huge. I mean, there aren't too many that have done now. We're over 4,300 episodes, millions of downloads. So we have over 130,000 listeners. It just, the numbers are incredible. We've interviewed over 6,000 guests. We've probably interviewed more guests than we're in the top five of all rate online networks for that. Um, <laughs> and you know, they just, and the guests like being on our shows, you know, we've interviewed some celebrities this year that have just made comments about how uh, that was a fun interview for them because they get to talked about something they're truly passionate about and nobody ever asked them about, you know, mm-hmm. with the celebrities. So, uh, you know, I think that, that without the listeners, we wouldn't be there, but also without our guests and our sponsors. Our sponsors are terrific. There are very few. This is the question I get, to ans- I get asked the most from uh, other podcasters is how do you have so many sponsors? How do you mm-hmm. keep them happy? How do you make sure they're with you? And without those sponsors, none of us would be here. And we certainly appreciate you all. Uh, there's yeah. over, I think there's over 30 now, uh, you know, amongst all the different shows. So we appreciate you all. And, and uh, thank you for supporting the Horse Radio Network for all these years. Uh, our first sponsor was Kentucky Performance Products, and they just agreed to kppusa.com. Yay. Thank you. They, yeah. I want to give a special mm-hmm. shout out. Not that I'm, I'm slighting everybody else, but she was our first when we had like no listeners, um, and she's been with us for almost eight years and just renewed for her ninth. So, um, thank you, Karen, That's over awesome. at KPP, Yay, and, Karen. and all of our sponsors. I don't want to slight anybody. There's uh, Equestrian Collections has been with us for almost that long too. So mm-hmm. without them, we couldn't continue to do what we do and we truly do appreciate it one other thank you before we call it a day and that's to our auditors these are a group of listeners who who saw value in what we do and actually put their money you know they they donate we ask for a dollar a month and they can give more if they like you you know a lot of these listeners are giving 10 25 dollars a month uh, be- wow. And they don't have to. That's something they do because they like the programming, and half of that money goes to you guys. It's split up amongst the hosts. 
And they know that, and they want to help support you guys. But that group has really become a focus group for us. There's 82 of them now, and they have their own Facebook page. And we were just talking about it before we recorded today, weren't we? They're like a family in there. They talk about everything. There, there are conversations Posting going on. Posting pictures. We get so much feedback and fun yes. stuff <laughs> that we bring on to the shows to talk about. And they give us ideas. Obviously, today we got a whole bunch of, of the uh, Would You Rather questions. And, and uh, it's interesting to follow along and and see what's going on, and, and it's, it's pretty cool. They, uh, during the Radiothon, must have had a conversation of 500 things going in there. They were following along all day, but they've become a family, thanks to the Horse Radio Network, and that I'm really proud of. The, number of lis- the numbers of listeners who have made friends with each other um, hey, keep it, us informed, incredible. everyone. We're waiting for our first engagement. Yes, we haven't had a marriage yeah. yet. We haven't had a marriage yet. <laughs> <laughs> had an engagement. I think we've had yeah. divorces, but we haven't had a marriage no. yet. So. <laughs> Let's make that happen. All right. Thank you, everybody, for another terrific year on the Horse Radio Network. We really appreciate you being here. There's going to be programming next week. Uh, we're, we, we also asked the auditors what they wanted to hear for Best Up shows. So that's what we'll be putting out next week is we're answering their requests for that. And then we'll, it will be back in 2016. My God. I can't wow. believe I'm even can't saying wait. that. Yeah, whoa. Yes, I hope to see you all again next year. That'd be fun. Yay! Let's yes. meet at a dude ranch somewhere in Montana and spend a oh, couple days. That would be good, too. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> all right, sounds good. Thanks, everybody. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Christmas. Happy holidays, everybody. Bye, guys. Running, cause Christmas times are coming. Can't you hear those bells ringing, ringing? Joy, joy, hear them singing. When it's snowing, I'll be going back to my country home. Back home when Christmas times are coming. Can't you hear those bells ringing, ringing? Joy, joy, hear them singing. When it's snowing, I'll be going back to my country home. Calls Christmas times are coming. Christmas times are coming. Christmas times are coming. Christmas times are coming, Christmas times are coming, Christmas times are coming.